everybody and welcome to the flute practice. Today we are going to be looking at the 10 things that I wish I knew about the flute before I started playing the flute. If any of you are here for the first time, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and the grey notification button so that you know when new videos are coming out. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Number one, it's not spit, it's condensation. I'm serious guys, it is not spit, it is condensation. People are going to be like, yeah, that's so gross. Out of all the wind instruments, we are the one instrument that doesn't actually, we don't touch the instrument with any inside part of our mouth. We touch it with the bottom part of our lip. It's not spit, it's condensation. Number two, meet your new best friend. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one that one yep you're gonna spend a lot of time playing in the really high register so you want to make really good friends with these ledger lines because you're going to be hanging out a lot your flute is going to be shiny for about five minutes when you get it and then it's going to start like oxidizing and getting full of dust and all sorts of things and you're going to spend the rest of your life trying to polish it clean and make it look good there is nothing more cliched than the whole flute section sitting there like polishing their flute between, you know, in rehearsal between bars of rest or whatever. It's just the way it is. Unless you have a gold flute or a platinum flute, in which case, get out. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's great. Good on you. This is a list of the instruments that we are louder than. And this is a list of the instruments that are louder than us. Yep. The flute is a famously very quiet instrument, not exactly your loudest instrument, you know. But don't worry, we have two things to comfort us. Number one, we're still louder than recorders. Number two, piccolo. If people complain about you being too soft, just take out your piccolo and have some fun and see how they run very, very fast. Speaking of recorders, most people have no idea what the flute is. They're going to be like, oh, you play the flute. You're going to be like, yeah, I play the flute. They're going to be like, oh, is that that one? You're going to be like, no, that's that's the recorder. Or the clarinet. Some of them might think it's a clarinet. So you're going to spend a lot of your life educating people about the flute. This is what an average piece of flute music looks like. Yep, <laughs> that's that's the one. We have to play a lot of notes in a really short space of time for a lot of our life. So get used to it. Many musicians won't take you seriously. I mean, in their defense, we don't even know what to call ourselves. Like flutist, flautist, flute player. I mean, I would struggle to take someone seriously that doesn't even know how to, you know, name themselves, call themselves. Don't try and argue with people on this one. Uh, you know, especially a string player. Like, they have works by all the great composers. We, we cannot compete. There are no facts you can lay on the table. If you're having problems with anybody, just take your piccolo out again, play some really high Gs, maybe even some high Cs, and just wait for them to go away. It should happen pretty fast. The second you pick up a flute into your hands, you are going to be entering into the world of competition. Flute players, you know, and most musicians, but flute players especially, are famously competitive. And before you're one of those players, they're like, no, man, I love all of my flute playing friends. We're all great. Oh, really? Is that so? Think very carefully now, my friends. Think very carefully. There is always that little, ooh, what piece are you busy playing? Ooh, what gig have you got next weekend? Ooh, what are you doing this holiday? And we're always just measuring each other up a little bit. Yes, I encourage us not to do that. Yes, we all do. And it's, you know, very bad, unhealthy behaviors. But I say the first step to recovery is admitting that it's there. And it's there. Welcome to the world of feeling guilty about breathing all the time. As flute players, we are not allowed to breathe. We have pieces like Bach. Where we're, you know, told, oh, breathing, haha, <laughs> there is no good place to breathe. Or that one, Debussy, where people are like, it's competition. Who can get through this whole thing without breathing? 
You will feel guilty about every breath you take from now on, my friends. So take your last good breaths if you haven't started playing the flute yet. And then welcome. There is such a thing as bad tone days. It's real. It happens to all of us. When you're having one of them, don't think it's in your head or you're making it up. It's real. It's a, it's a true story. They are 10 times worse than bad hair days and they happen a lot more frequently. I'm going to throw in a little bonus number 11 here and that is that you are going to love your flute as much as you thought you would, if not way more. And if any of these points should deter you, don't let them. This is an awesome instrument and welcome to the flute family if you have decided to join us. Share this, guys. Share this with your flute friends and just spread the flute love. It is a cool instrument. It is a great community to be a part of. So let's all keep smiling, keep laughing and having lots of fun with our flute.